In the previous video, we demonstrated the process of creating a symbol and referencing the attributes to the user-defined template that we created in the first video in Aviva System Platform. We'll now focus on creation of the faceplate for the automation object and linking of the symbol to the user-defined template. In the IDE under the graphic toolbox, we first need to create a new symbol and give it a name. Navigate to the graphic toolbox and create a new symbol and give it the same name as the reference from the show symbol animation in our symbol from the previous video. Open the symbol in the graphic editor and start by adding a rectangle and formatting the new faceplate. Next, we'll add another rectangle and create a label for the description and engineering units. And add a text box for the high high alarm set point. We'll add animations to link these to the set point high high attribute for our template. Later, we'll need to add a description and engineering units to the attribute for this to work properly. We'll then align the rectangle with the label, text box, and units and group these together. For the text box, we'll add a user input animation and add the variable for the high high alarm set point. We'll also define limits and use the max scaled variable for the upper limit. We'll then move the rectangle to the faceplate and then duplicate the high high alarm set point for the high, the low, the low low, the max scaled, the min scaled, and process variable and arrange these to fit the faceplate. Next we'll select the high alarm and substitute tags and complete this for all of the labels, set points, and units. When we get to the max scaled set point, we will remove the restrict values checkbox. For the last rectangle, we'll display the process variable 
and need to change the animation type and update the references for the label and units. We'll now add a script that will write the alarm set point values into the limit alarms that we enabled in the previous video that will allow the alarm border that we enabled for our symbol to function properly. We'll then save and close our symbol and navigate to the template toolbox and open our user defined template. and link our symbol to the template. Now we can open our instance FI3001 and verify that the symbol is linked to the instance. We'll also go into the scaled value and align the descriptions, the engineering units for the scaled max, min, and our set points for our faceplate. We've now gone through the steps to create our pattern file, our symbol, and our faceplate. We now want to place the instance of our object onto our screen. We'll open the graphic editor and select FI3001 and drop it onto the graphic editor and save and close our changes. We'll now open our view app and go into the preview mode and verify our new instance of our object. We'll put in set points for the alarms, the max scaled value, and verify the scaled value is working properly. We can go into the controller application as well and verify the data. We'll activate the alarm for the low and the low low set points by raising these values above the process variable. And you can see our alarm border is also functional. We now have everything in place to add a new instance of our object. We'll export the variables for FI3002 and run asset link now to bring all the data across and create the instance for us automatically and take care of all the auto binding and remove the duplication of work and effort. We'll open asset link and then verify our configuration is good and then go to the generation tab and click on browse control project. We'll select the FI3002 and generate the object. This will place the object in the unassigned host directory. We'll then drag and drop that into our area.
We'll add descriptions and engineering units to the new instance. When we're done, we'll save and close the object and deploy the changes. We'll then add our new instance of our object onto our screen again in the graphic editor. And test and verify the functionality. We'll now verify our new instance, add our set points and our max scaled value and verify our communications. I hope you see value in Asset Link and what it can do for you. We're only working with a single instance, but imagine working with a lot of objects and using this automated tool to instantiate and auto bind all these objects for you automatically. The tool also supports version control and in addition to object creation allows you to manage the objects over the entire life cycle of the control system.